Throughout history, the borders that define our countries have constantly shifted, evolving as nations rise and fall. As of 2017, there are nearly 200 countries in the world, but many more have come and gone. These short-lived nations vanished for various reasons, from failed independence bids to rapid mergers. Their fleeting existence offers fascinating insights into the world's political and historical landscape. Today, we are exploring the top 10 shortest-lived nations and uncover their brief but intriguing histories. Number 10. Tanganyika Imagine a country that was only around for a little over a year. That was Tanganyika, a short-lived country in Africa that quickly joined with Zanzibar to form modern-day Tanzania. Tanganyika was a part of East Africa for centuries, but it really caught attention in the late 1800s. The Germans took control in the 1890s, making it part of German East Africa, a huge area that included present-day Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and parts of Mozambique. They wanted to expand their empire and saw Tanganyika as a valuable piece of land. After World War I, Germany lost control of Tanganyika, and the British took over, renaming it Tanganyika Territory in 1920. The name Tanganyika comes from two Swahili words, Tanga, sail, and Nika, wilderness, possibly referring to the vast Lake Tanganyika. In 1962, Tanganyika gained independence from Britain, but it didn't stay independent for long. Just two years later, in 1964, it merged with Zanzibar, an island nearby, to create the country we now know as Tanzania. Even though Tanganyika was short-lived, its name and legacy continue in Tanzania today. Number 9. The Provisional Government of Hawaii Hawaii was once a kingdom, but in the late 1800s, things got complicated. King David Kalakaua ruled Hawaii but faced many issues. When he died in 1891, his sister, Queen Liliwakalani, took over. She was Hawaii's only female ruler, but her reign was short-lived. In 1893, a group called the Committee of Safety, made up mostly of white businessmen, didn't like how Queen Liliwakalani wanted to restore native Hawaiian rights. They wanted Hawaii to become part of the United States for their own benefit. So, they staged a coup and overthrew her. The Committee of Safety got help from the U.S. Marines on the USS Boston. This was controversial because it was considered illegal by the U.S. House of Representatives, but they ignored it when they saw Hawaii was strategically important. For about a year, Hawaii was governed by this provisional government until it was replaced by the Republic of Hawaii in 1894. The president of the republic was Sanford B. Dole, who was related to the founder of Dole Food Company. Even though the provisional government was short-lived, it set the stage for Hawaii's eventual annexation into the United States. Number 8. The United States of Belgium In 1790, after the Holy Roman Emperor introduced unpopular reforms, several Belgian provinces rebelled and declared themselves the United States of Belgium. They were inspired by the American Revolution and hoped to create their own independent nation. For a few months, they controlled several cities, but internal disagreements and pressure from the Holy Roman Empire soon caused their downfall. Despite their short-lived success, this rebellion helped inspire Belgium's fight for independence years later in 1830. Number 7. The Kingdom of Lithuania In 1918, after Germany gained control of Lithuania, the locals wanted to keep their independence. So, they declared themselves a monarchy and invited Duke Wilhelm von Urach to become their king. He even started learning Lithuanian, despite never setting foot in the country. However, the kingdom didn't last long. By November 1918, the government was disbanded, and the dream of a Lithuanian monarchy was over. Number 6. The Republic of Formosa. In 1895, after China handed Taiwan over to Japan following the First Sino-Japanese War, the people of Taiwan were furious. They declared independence, creating the Republic of Formosa and vowed to fight back against Japan. Although they sent pleas for help to other countries, international support never really arrived. The Japanese army crushed the rebellion quickly, but one local hero, Liu Yongfu, managed to hold out until October. Eventually, he fled on a British ship, leaving his fighters confused and defeated. It was the end of the Republic of Formosa and the beginning of Japanese rule over Taiwan. Number 5. The Republic of Ezo After Japan's Bashan War in 1868, a group of samurai refused to surrender and fled to the island of Ezo, now Hokkaido. 
They declared the island a new nation dedicated to samurai ideals and set up their base in a star-shaped fortress called Goryakaku. Despite briefly gaining recognition from Britain and France, they were no match for Japan's new government. In just a few months, the samurai were defeated. Interestingly, the leader of the rebellion, Inomoto Takayaki, impressed the Japanese so much that, instead of being executed, he was spared and later became an important government official. Number 4. Azawad. In 2012, the people of northern Mali declared independence and formed the short-lived nation of Azawad. Armed and determined, the rebels wanted an Islamic state governed by Sharia law. At first, they defeated the government forces and took control of several cities. However, they struggled to gain recognition from other countries. By July 12, 2012, the Mali government, with help from French forces, forced the rebels out of their last stronghold, ending Azawad's brief existence. Although the rebels continue to seek independence, it's unlikely they'll succeed as the world rejects their claim. Number 3. The Republic of Mountainous Armenia In 1921, after Armenia was forced to join Soviet Russia, the locals were outraged when parts of their land were given to Azerbaijan. Furious, they declared the Republic of Mountainous Armenia on April 26, 1921. The rebels managed to control Yerevan and surrounding areas, giving their leaders a chance to escape Soviet rule. However, the Soviet army quickly crushed the rebellion by July 13, 1921. Though short-lived, their efforts weren't entirely in vain. The Soviets allowed Armenia to keep control of some of their land, even though it remained part of the USSR. Number 2. The Democratic Republic of Yemen In 1994, Yemen was split between the north and the south. After tensions grew, Ali Salim al -Baid, a leader from the south, declared the Democratic Republic of Yemen on May 21, 1994. A civil war quickly broke out, and despite some efforts for peace, the fighting didn't stop. The northern forces crushed the rebellion just over a month later, capturing the southern city of Aden on July 7, 1994. In the end, the north offered amnesty, reuniting Yemen. Though the conflict left a lasting mark. 1. Carpatho Ukraine Carpatho Ukraine holds the record for one of the shortest lived countries ever. It only lasted one day. On March 15, 1939, they declared independence, quickly setting up a flag, national anthem, and even a state seal, thinking they were ready to become a nation. But the very next day, Hungary invaded, with Hitler's approval. The leaders of Carpatho Ukraine fled, and just like that, their country disappeared. After World War II, the area became part of the Soviet Union, and the dream of an independent Carpatho Ukraine was gone for good. And that's a wrap on the top 10 shortest-lived countries. Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments.